Yeah. Okay, wonderful. All right, it, the bar is going across, so I'll just uh, not officially start until I know for sure that we're officially recording live. Wonderful. Um, hi, everyone, and uh, welcome. If you are joining us for this conversation, whether live or on the replay, we'd love to hear about it in the comments. Say hello and let us know where you're watching from. Therese has been so generous in agreeing to come on and talk with um, my community here on Facebook about visibility and about the work that she does around visibility. And I made a post about this, but if you haven't seen it, I'm just going to recap a little bit of my thoughts on this because I help authors become published and become best selling authors. And I think there's a misunderstanding out there and it ends up it hurts people who want to become authors but are scared. And it also hurts people who have already become authors but are still scared <laughs> about visibility. There's this belief that like once you become a published author, you're never going to have another fear around visibility ever again. And the reality is this is just one step in the direction, in the door, and uh, one of many ways that we show up as visible. And even like we're, we're human beings, we're so dynamic as our life ebbs and flows, we might change in the way we feel about being visible. Visible. And so I was so excited when Therese um, talked about wanting to do this presentation here um, with my community because I think it matters so much. And I do see many authors go through the process, literally become a best selling author or even an international best selling author, and then still struggle to hit like the register button on a free speaking event or to reach out to that podcast host who they know already and they know would be a good fit for their message. So, um, Therese, I'm so glad to have you on today. Thank you, darling. Happy to I be here. Bit. We have the Christmas colors, so we really, we really we're rocking today. We didn't get the memo, but it worked out. So glad to be here. <laughs> Tell us about um, who you are and who you work with. Yeah, so I'm called the Intuitive Business Mentor. And Melissa, I blend 20 years of being a psychotherapist and almost 20 years of being a business coach, do the math, how old I am. And then I top that with intuition. So what I do is I actually work on all the parts of your business, right? So, so my understanding of psychology and emotions and blocks and past, and then what to do to get a business successful. And then the, the intuitive piece where I can literally, I, it's pretty magic. You've seen it. I like pick up my pendulum and go, what happened when you were seven? Cause that's holding your visibility back. So we have these, this, I'm so blessed by God with this just ninja like skill where I can, there it is. Like, so I love unlocking people and I love, love, love to work with usually women who know they're here for something big. My, my folks are always, I always call them like mission driven, heart centered. They're often service based business owners. And what I know, darling, is that when you are up for sale, all the little gremlins, all the little, what me? I'm not enough. What am I thinking? It it really is difficult. And so what I do is I help your authors and my audience and people like who are supposed to help get out of their own way so they can literally free themselves to do their work in the world. I love that so much. Um, so many individuals come into this field of service-based work yeah. from a space of like, I just care and I have a story yeah. and I have a message and I feel I've been called to a mission, but then it's like, then <laughs> what happens after that? It's right, a mess. Right. Wait, wait, you mean I have to charge for it and I have to tell people about it? <laughs> oh, good God. <laughs> That's where it hits. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's nuts. It's nuts. Why do you think so many women have difficulty getting visible? This could be a seven day workshop, but I'll, I'll make it short because it's so multifaceted. And I just want to, there's one thing I have to differentiate. There's a concept that I work with called being seen versus being visible because you can sit there going, well, like I have, look at all my inspirational memes. Look at, I have all the memes. I'm seeing all the memes. I have quotes by Thoreau and here's a little video of a clip of Oprah. And, and so we think that's visibility. We think because we made four posts this week, it's visible. But are you being seen? I don't care about how many Twitter followers or how much influence you have on the Instagram. What I care about is 
Are your people seeing you? Seeing you. Do they sense your values? Would they feel like, oh, she understands. Oh my gosh, she's walked through what I'm walking through. I would feel safe with her. And I think she's got credibility, right? And that is scary. It's very easy to put, put like pretty memes up. For me, I put cute boyfriend and dog pictures, right? <laughs> In addition to my other stuff. But it's very easy to just stuff while you're hiding out. And the why, darling, is it's so multifaceted, but a lot of women number one, are not owning their value. That's the number one secret to getting visible. We're going to talk about that in a minute. But part of it is, look at the messaging in our culture, right? You're, you're a wee bit younger than me. Lots of bits younger than me, actually. But but women, women over 40, right? We were not given, we didn't have Oprah. We had June Cleaver. And we had role models of women that were invisible and their whole role was supporting others, right so you might have gotten the cultural or perhaps the religious or the the family of origin like I come I'm Irish right and I remember my grandma saying I don't be putting on airs and I'm like what is that and it, at what that is is don't tell people how good you are you don't talk about yourself you don't highlight your achievements you want to just and so you think about we were raised you know family, culture, society, religion, you know, geography, we're raised with these things. So that's just the epigenetics. That's just where we come in with it. And then we might have had early experiences where like, raise your hand, Melissa, have you ever been told like, God, you're so intense. God, why are you? <laughs> All the girls say, oh my gosh, I had this boyfriend and I would be so like exuberant yeah, and excited. Yeah. Like I was in high school, you know, and it felt like, oh, the world is at my fingertips. And I would be talking to him in the hall full of a hundred kids. Right. And he'd be like, oh my gosh, you're so loud. Right. And it was like, I mean, and he may have just, he could have just told me I should die or something. Like, I, that's how I that felt. Like, yes. Shame yes. wash. Yes. That stuff yes. lives in you for a long time. That. See, that's the stuff that literally, I'm going to use the word, gets imprinted. And so yeah. smart little Melissa learned, oh, I can't, if I want to be accepted, I better dial it back. I better not be so loud. I better. And so now here we have you as publisher and me as mentor, like, Okay, girls, go, go be loud, share your message and everything in us is like, <laughs> right? So what I wanna do, and I know you are about this, it's deconditioning the old, right? Like we are, I fancy us like disruptors. We have to break the patterns and the conditioning of, it's gotta be perfect. I can't do it unless it's perfect. I'm not, an, I need 17 more certifications and three more. <laughs> I need Jesus to come down and tell me I'm good enough to do this. And that's what happens is we tap into the more we aspire and getting a book out there, growing a business, those are big goals. And so the more we stretch ourselves, the more we're going to be triggered. And so it's so much the, the energy work and the unconscious work that I work in that free people to be like, of course, it's going to be me. Of course, I can do that. So that's why. And and I find it so interesting, too. I know in my own journey, it it's like. I, I have known I love the stage. It took me <laughs> until I was like 30 to actually say that out loud. Yeah, yeah. You know, because it was like, well, you're not supposed to like it. Exactly. But I love the stage. Yes. I always have. And uh but but it was like it has to be calculated. And if I'm gonna be on stage, I have to like jump through all, all these hoops to yeah. keep this persona or whatever. And um all that ever did was just, like actually sabotage my work. Because especially if you're coming into it heart centered and you're trying, you know, you really care and you really want to help people, it's like any inauthenticity is felt. One hundred percent. Yeah. So that's, yeah. and here's the challenge, Melissa. And I think so many mentors, you know, there's strategy and energy. And I say energy trumps everything, right? Because how many of us have, have had million dollar strategies and gone, well, crap, apparently I'm a sucky loser because I couldn't do that. Or you're wired differently. Or like you, we have children that are our priorities. Or we have shame that like I, I work today, I have a client that I'm so proud of her. She and I were designing her very first workshop. And I'm like, okay, love, visibility. You got to do this, this, this. She completely melted down, completely melted down. Now, another mentor could have either fired her or made her wrong or made, you know, you have to spend, you have to spend another $10,000 $10, to figure it out. And I was like, 
Um, oh, this is a past life thing. Let's go there. Boom. You should see her now. She's just rocking all the workshops. But that's an example is when you're pushed to be more visible, if you don't have a mentor that understands shame, triggering, old trauma, you're going to get messages that something's really wrong with you. And, and there's like, it's really spiraling in the, the confidence and it's just, ugh. So that's why go to Melissa and I, <laughs> your expansion, because we understand this stuff, right? We honor, we honor the, the vulnerable places. We honor the parts of you that are terrified. We honor the little girls inside that are, they're going to die if somebody rejects them, right? We know that work. We've done that work. And that's so critical that you don't get a lot of places in the market out there. Well, you take such a spiritual based approach. And I know from my own experience and then seeing lots and lots of women around me that like, I would think to myself, I don't need another spiritual person because I'm already super spiritual. You are. So like, I don't need support in that. My weakness is just organizing my email list or whatever some <laughs> tactical strategy or like you know just like cold calling outreach stuff that i'm uncomfortable with or whatever yeah, and yeah. i had to learn on my own experience you know after hiring and like literally just hemorrhaging tons of money on strategies that i didn't need to recognize that like, oh no, I'm spiritually based and that's my language. And therefore that's what I need. Mm -hmm. So like, yeah. what would you say to a woman who, um, because I think that's a, an obstacle, right? It's like, because the world says, you know, that's not what you need in business. You just need a bunch of strategy, but, but really the spiritual women are your ideal clients. So like, what would you say to her around that as kind of like her unconscious yeah yeah, yeah yeah let me think about those answers um you can't take your life out of your business and and here's here's the thing as women I think it's been historical and I'll speak per first person I, I was raised that somebody out there has the answers right well I have to hire that person or I have to go to that therapist or that man will save me <laughs> tell me the one you know I think we've been trained that the answers are out there, the experts are out there, salvation, you know, fixing is all out there. And my work is, it's starting in you. So I just literally, I, I love the concept of midwifery. I had two babies with midwives naturally. I love, it's a different metaphor for me. It's not, I'm the guru doing it to you. It's, we're birthing this thing together. Mm. And so the work I do is exquisitely um, honoring of who you are of your magic, trusting and knowing that you have expertise. Because a lot of, I, I've had many times, and you've had this, where some mentor says, you can't sell that, that won't sell. And you're like, but I kind of want to sell it, right? And I'm like, cool. If that's what's alive in you, if that's what wants to be birthed, let's figure it out. How dare I tell you? No, I might say, ah, we got to talk about it a little bit different way or oof, that price point's too low, right? But just to, just to make it better for you. But the whole paradigm, it, and so, so I'm not doing Christian counseling. I'm not, you know, giving you Bible verses and quoting scripture at you. I'm going to what you consider sacred in you. I'm supporting the God vision in you, the purpose in you. That's like, I know I'm here for a mission. I, ah, I didn't go through all this just to, just to have a book languishing on the shelf. I went through this to help people. And what I know, Melissa, after doing this for 20 years, it's not the strategy. You don't need another. Yeah, and yes, we all need to know how to do the things, but once you have the things, why are you not getting the visibility you want? That's the thing. And my number one secret is because you're not owning your value. And part of owning your value is, can I even do this? Do I even deserve, like, really? Can, can I, am I enough? Am I enough? Like, I, but, but, but Tony Robbins already talks about this. This book's already been written. Everybody knows this, right? We, we devalue ourselves so much. So when you work with me and someone like you as well, it's like, how do we position you such that you understand, like, this is mine to say, because even if me and Tony Robbins are saying the same thing, Tony's people are going to resonate with him. And my shorter people generally <laughs> are going to be like, oh, you said that he's a weirdo. He's too tall. And I don't like him. He's easy. You know? So go through. So it's all your frequency. It's all your energy. It's like, because as you know, on a soul level, we have contracts. We're supposed to help certain people. Right. So it's getting you out there shining such that your people can be like, can you believe what she just said? Right. So 
And I, I, I see too with you, I think your 20 years of experience also really speaks um, a lot because you're not just going to um, do the energy side and then kind of leave them stranded. You oh, do no. know other business strategies and you can help guide them to the strategy that yes. Yes. feels joyful, that feels doable, that's going to be, you know, work and things like that. I think that's so important. So speak to, you said, um, you said something about, uh, you know, like your own self value. How does that play into the bigger picture with visibility? It's everything. It's everything. That 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 was my hardest journey, right? Because I came into this as 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 a more talented life coach than most people. Because I had a master's degree in counseling, I had been a psychotherapist, and yet here's the thing: we all have the story as to why we're not enough. So mine was: I never worked in the business world. How funny! I'm a business coach. I never worked in corporate. I thought Excel was a phone company. I didn't know what a PL was. I like, it was just like. Uh, that's awesome oh well, yeah I'm like well, what, what are you feeling you know what I mean and so so I literally I was like oh I'm a business coach I applied for a company and I'm oh heck I'm a business coach so I literally put my floaties on was thrown into the water I got great training but what happened Melissa is along the way again I have the skills I'm exquisite you've seen me you know my skills right and this is 20 years ago you should see how good I am now but 20 years ago I was I was pretty good right because I'm just naturally skilled at working with people and I couldn't sell anything. It, I sucked. I just was like, I think I had like 60 discovery calls before some woman in California was like, okay, yeah. And I'm like, oh, good hell. What do I do now? They signed up, right? And so oh my I, gosh, yeah, wow. I, mean, I understand so clearly, like you can have all the skills, but if you have stories of not enoughness, if you have stories of I can give and give and give, but, oh, now I have to charge you a lot right? Because I started as a therapist charging seven bucks an hour at a community treatment center. Like I was, I was a basically, you know, not a social worker, but I lived, I worked in a, uh, like a sliding scale therapy office. And so it's like, okay, here's $2 for your session. And I'm like, okay, this is 600 bucks a month now. And, and I'm like, how do I do that was an hour there, an hour there. How do I wait, wait, what? So my journey has been everything I teach. So I got to, I was blessed to go through a lot of years of sucking and a lot of years of not making money because what I learned is I now know how to own my value and how to teach you how to own your value. I now know how to talk about my work and how to teach you how to talk about your work. I now know how to sell like a phenom and how to show, show you a beautiful selling system because I couldn't do all those things because I had my not enoughness, my shame, my grandma telling me not don't be talking about myself. Right? <laughs> so, so I had to like, un, like deconstruct all my conditioning, work on my money issues, work on all this stuff to be like, uh, no, here's what I know, Melissa. And this is such an important thing. If it's your desire, it's God's will for you. Like if you have this, if like, oh, I have this story or I have this, I, I have this dream. Like I, I don't want another woman to suffer in this way. I went through all this. I have, that's by divine design. So I'm kind of like, how dare you go? But is it really enough? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you didn't make it up. You didn't go, well, maybe I'll be an accountant because that'll make me some money and I'll have good benefits. Right. Most of us, the people we work with are the ones that are convicted. It's like, it's like their soul desires are like, ah. Like, okay, I'm going, right? Like we can't get away from it. So that's the number one thing is like, it's your destiny. So with that, why would you not be supported, right? I don't think there's somebody in the sky going, tee hee, April Fool's. <laughs> you got the desire, but it's never going to work. It's not the case. You just have to do the inner work such that you're a huge yes to that. And then you can get visible with that message and why it matters. Mm. And so often with business, it's about, um, there's pivots constantly. Oh my, oh my. Out of oh every my. Um, idea that I have, you know, probably three out of 10 are the one. <laughs> <laughs> that worked and of the rest are not seven out of 10 are like, okay, well, that was an idea that didn't work in, in terms of like how I present myself and what, you know, what am I doing for outreach? How am I doing my marketing? All of that stuff. 
but the thing is is if we don't do that in a piece if we if we have all this stuff locked up in there then one oops that one wasn't the path is enough to shut the whole business down yeah, yeah, yeah. because you know so so i just know how important that that is and and when we have that clarity we can just like be in creativity and it's like oh it's all a fun experiment and let's get curious and let's try it and let's you know um and we need that we have to be able to and our our missions are important enough to do that work and to get to that space of openness and play and curiosity around how we how we do the things that's so good. So good. Most of us, what happens is I call it launch trauma, right? We're like, okay, okay, God, I'll do that. We do it. We do all the marketing and it's like crickets or like, whoa, I made one sale. Like what, what even? And so we start to doubt. And I, ha I have this concept. I'll just do it really briefly here. I talk about the expansion zone and the expansion zone is there's a part of you that is designed to grow and expand. Like we're always expanding. We're one with nature, right? We're just like, oh, more please. Yes. I want to I want to experience that. Yes, I can add that. Yes, yes, yes. But then our subconscious is designed to keep us safe, small, and stuck. So here, part of us is like, oh, that'd be so fun to write a book. Oh my gosh, I could start a podcast. I could have a live event. I could charge more. And I want love. And I want a great body. And I want, and the subconscious is like, really? What if they find out that you're bankrupt? What if they realize you're not all that? What if, what if, what if? And then, and it's, that's the part. So there's expansion and contraction. And so the contraction part, this is what most people cannot navigate. This mm -hmm. is magic, right? Because this is normal. This stuff happens all the time. And the, the next, I always give credit, David Nagel says, new level, new devil. So you could be like, okay, I'm making hundred grand good. And I'm like, okay, double. Oh, wait, good God. Who am I? <laughs> so, so anytime you're, you're seeking for more visibility, more impacts, more income, you're going to be up in it. And if you don't understand, if you don't have context about why this is happening, and it's because in the olden days, you know, there were there were things jumping out of the cave people. So our brains got wired like, ah, watch that, watch that, be careful, be careful. Bad things are gonna happen. So we literally, it's a fight flight, right? We're literally wired and our brain, its job is not to make us fulfilled and do our purpose. Its job is to keep us alive and safe. And I say, and small and stuck. Because if we're like in little play pens and little, or little dog crates, Super <laughs> and so it's navigating that so to answer your question you have this desire you want to help and then <laughs> you start hearing the little voices the doubts or in my case of like what i got injured again oh my wait what the third time in two years what that's so odd that i'm slammed and i can't do my work right it, our subconscious orchestrates magnificent experience so they're and you have to know how to like, er, er, er. nope, I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. Oh, I love this so much. I want to um, check here again, guys, if you're watching and you're with us, say hello in the comments. Yeah. We would love to hear from you. And um, and whether you're watching on replay or you're watching live now, say hi. Let us know where you're watching from. Is there any little nuggets that you've gotten out of this? Let us know what those are in the comments. And then, Therese, why don't you share with us how can people work with you? Yes, I love that. So I have many ways. One way, an easy yes, is I have a $97 membership community. We meet three times a month. And really awesome. They're like our people, Melissa. Some of them are your people. Some of your authors are in there with me. And it's really. I just hold on a second. I mean, you just said this is $97. For and I mean, that I is like a no brainer, I know. right? I know. People, like I know. anybody, unless you have a, you too many excuses, you can afford to do this work. And if you find and you're like, I'm not selling the way that I have been or whatever, $97. Okay. I'm sorry, but I just had to like, yes, I know, I know, I know. Amazing. It's, <laughs> it's, 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 you know, I, 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 I love that the pricing is this low because I want to make it affordable and I want to make it a no brainer. The tagline for the activate community is activate your value and your visibility. And it's a wonderful group of heal like healers, coaches, therapists, you know, just our kind of women, authors, publishers, people that just, there are, are women and they're not owning themselves. They're not stepping out. They're not, you know, being all that. And so that's one way that's the activate community. I can put the LinkedIn. And then I have 
then I have other groups and private coaching up, up to, you know, a couple of grand a month. So I go literally, I have something for everybody, something for everybody, because that, that makes my soul happy that I can reach more people at some of the lower levels as well. So I love that. And what's the best way for somebody to reach out and uh, wait a minute, let's ask it this way. If they're, they've been listening, but they're still scared where can they like let's have a convo content. let's have a convo let's just i'm t- i'm truly like you can say i'm very welcoming i'm like super like dude let's have a convo so um i will i will just drop my email so we'll just do an email i'll put that in the link below um you can message me on facebook i'm very active on the facebook not on linkedin just on the facebook and so that and then i just have two other points that, that if you want to own your value there's two other pieces that we got to talk about because it will, will- <laughs> Love it. Let's let's conclude with your two final points. I love it. Points. Okay. What if you knew, and I want you to feel into this, that somebody is literally praying for you. And I don't mean like, oh, peace to all the people on earth. I mean, God, I can't do this another day. I need, please send some help. What if you knew that in your bones? That gets me out of bed, darling. That makes me like, Overcome your small self, shut up being scared to offer this, zippy, zippy, because you are the solution to, you are the answer to somebody's prayers. You have been chosen on a soul level. That's my belief that I, I, I have what you, what I have it. I have it. Melissa has it. Like, like, so if you knew that for yourself, how dare you go, oh, but I don't want to, I don't want to bother anybody with an email. I already sent one this week. Like I always say, if you had the cure for cancer, would you be like, like I don't want to say it. What, what are they going to think? And I'm bragging, right? You would be like, yeah, oh my God. I, and I want you to be a revolutionary. I say, I'm like, I kind of like that word. We are revolutionaries. We have to light up people. We have to say, there's a solution. You don't have to keep hiding. You don't have to keep struggling. This is possible. So that really helps me. Like if you knew that somebody's praying for you. So just ask yourself, if I knew that, what would I do different? And very often it's be bolder. You know, say anything about that before I drop into the last point. I love it. All that you said it all. It's perfect. Hey, last point. There's a difference between transaction and transformation. Okay. So if you're a coach and you charge, I'm just going to make up a number, $300 a session. If you say, maybe I could charge $350 a session. Or maybe if, if it's an author and you're like, okay, I'm going to charge them $2,000 to have a chapter, right? So we, we, there is a transaction that has to happen before we can offer the service. But what's going to happen is that little gremlin brain of yours is going to be like $2,000 for it. And I don't even know them. I'm just making those numbers up, right? To be in a book, you can't charge people. And then we get in their stories. Well, what if they have kids that are in school and they're going to need money for college and, you know, her husband didn't get the job and da, 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 da. And so whenever you focus on the transaction, cost this for a chapter or this for a month of coaching or this per hour or this per the event, you are going to be like pecked to hell with the little gremlins, like the little vultures that are going to remind you because that's where it's going to hit you. Whereas this is the owning your value thing. Focus on the transformation. Like I know people work with me. They spend, you know, let's say a few thousand bucks, their life is changed because now they're free to be their most expressed self. They're free to make money. They're free to have more confidence, right? Same thing with you. And so if you just focus here, eh, 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 it's like that. And you're at risk. You will not own your value focusing on people go own your value, add a zero to the end. But if you're like, can I charge $10,000? But if you go, wow, what's the lifetime value? I should charge $100,000, right? So if you focus on the transformation, what they get this go around in a year, in 10 years, how it affects their family, their confidence, their energy, their money, their business. That's easy. That's easy owning your value. Mic drop. There we go. (laughs) So many powerful nuggets of wisdom. This conversation has been beautiful. And even things that I need reminding. um, Yeah. You have said, yeah, because we do, you're right. Like uh, society and the world and our internal voices and voices from our past and whatever, there's always going to be more voices telling you, you can't and you shouldn't and you suck. (laughs) (laughs) So we need, we need people like you. And I've, I've had personal experience with Therese where 
you know, in, in group settings where it's like, oh, wait a minute, let me check in. And she pulls out her little pendulum and every single time it's spot on. It's like, wow, you really have a gift. So fast. It's so fast. It's fast, exactly. And sometimes, yeah, like I could go in and I could journal and I could do it on my own, but there are things that I um I won't see because I'm me and I have my own filters. And it also sometimes it's just nice to have someone else to support you. We weren't, we didn't come to earth to do this alone. So guys reach out if you loved anything that Therese shared here and, you know, and it was interesting to you, reach out and have a conversation with her. She's lovely. If nothing else, you can connect with her and start seeing, you know, what she's sharing about and stuff. And, um, and, uh, and if you feel so called, you should definitely hop in and work with her. Like $97 makes it like, wow, that is just easy to say yes to. So thanks so much for joining us, Therese. And thanks everyone for watching. Bye.